Mr. President, um, are you giving any consideration or did you give any consideration to the governor and mayor's request uh, not to come to Kenosha tomorrow? No, because Kenosha was something we did a good job when the governor didn't want us there. He didn't want uh, the National Guard, as you know. He was very reluctant. But I give him credit because ultimately he said yes. And as soon as he said yes, the problem ended. But I have to see the people that did such a good job for me, and we're meeting with numerous people, and we have tremendous support in the state of Wisconsin. So I promise them, when it all gets taken care of, we'll go. Concerns, though, that it could exacerbate tensions and increase violence. Do you give any uh, consideration Well, it that? could also increase enthusiasm, and it could increase uh, love and respect for our country. And that's why I'm gone, because they did a fantastic job. As soon as I called and told them, let's go, uh, the whole problem stopped. That was, what, six days ago? Yeah, Jeff? Uh, Mr. President, why are you not meeting with the family of Jacob Blake while you're there? Well, I spoke with the pastor, wonderful man, the family's pastor. And uh, I thought it would be better not to do anything where there are lawyers involved. Uh, they wanted me to speak, but they wanted to have lawyers involved. And I thought that was inappropriate, so I didn't do that. But I did speak with the pastor of the family, who's a fine man, a wonderful man. And uh, I think we had a great talk. And uh, I may at some point, you know, do that. But they, they did have a lawyer that wanted to be on the phone. And I said, no, that's inappropriate. But I just gave my best regards. Uh, but again, I spoke with the pastor. Yeah, please. I have a question on coronavirus, but first, you were just criticizing Joe Biden, saying he didn't mention the far left or Antifa during his speech today. You said you wanted to talk about left-wing political violence. Yeah. But I noticed you did not mention that your supporters were also in Portland this weekend, firing paintball guns at people, some form of pepper spray. So do you want to also take this chance to condemn what your supporters did? Well, I understand people? they had large numbers of people that were supporters, but that was a peaceful protest. And paint is not, and paint is a defensive mechanism. Paint is not bullets. Uh, paint your supporters, bullet. your supporters, and they are your supporters indeed, uh, shot a young gentleman who, uh, and killed him, not with paint, but with a bullet. And I think it's disgraceful. These people, they protested peacefully. They went in very peacefully. And I'll tell you what they're protesting. They're protesting when they turn on television, or read whatever they may be reading, and they see a city like Chicago, where 78 people were shot and 13 died, or a city like New York, where the crime rate has gone through the roof, or a city like Portland, where the, the entire city is ablaze all the time, and a mayor says, we don't want any help from the federal government. When these people turn that on and they see that, they say, this is not our country. This is not our country. That was a peaceful protest, totally. It was a supporter okay. of yours, go Mr. Ahead, President. Please. Yeah, go supporter. ahead, please. It was a supporter of yours, Mr. President. Go ahead, please. Are you going to the It was a supporter of yours, Mr. President, who killed someone who was accused of killing Excuse two me? people. It's a supporter of yours. Are you no. going to condemn the actions of vigilantes like Kyle Rittenhouse? Um, well, we're, we're looking at all of it. Uh, that was an interesting situation. You saw the same tape as I saw. And uh, he was trying to get away from them, I guess, it looks like. And he fell. And then they very violently attacked him. And it was something that we're looking at right now, and it's under investigation. But uh, I guess he was in very big trouble. He would have been — he probably would have been killed. But it's under — it's under investigation. Do you think private citizens should be taking guns? I'd like to see law enforcement take care of everything. I think everything should be taken care of, law enforcement. But, again, we have to give our cops back, our police back, their dignity, the respect. They're very talented people. They're strong. They're tough. They can do the job. But we've taken it away. We don't want to have — when somebody makes a mistake, he chokes. Or, in some cases, you have bad cops, so we have to take care of that. In other cases, they choke. They're under — they have a quarter of a second, a quarter of a second to make a decision. And sometimes they make the wrong decision. If they make the wrong decision, you know, if they make the wrong decision in the other direction, they're probably dead. So they choke sometimes. And that goes on the evening news for weeks. And the thousands and tens of thousands of great things they do, nobody covers that. Nobody writes about that. But if they make a mistake — and again, the bad cops, everybody agrees they have to be very tough on bad cops. 
But sometimes you have a cop or a police person who is a good, a good police person, right? Good. But they choke. You know, the timing, and they go through this, and they study this, and they work on it all the time. They literally have a quarter of a second to make some of these decisions. And they make a wrong decision, and it's very devastating. But I will say this. Uh, I honor law enforcement. We wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for law enforcement. We have to stop this horrible left-wing ideology that seems to be permeating our country. And basically, it's weakness. It's weakness on behalf of Democrat politicians or Republicans. We don't have problems. You take a look at our cities. Our cities are doing very well. They're safe. They're secure. I spent a lot of time in Texas, uh, as you know, just a couple of days ago. And I was with the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott. He was explaining they wouldn't put up with it for a minute. They just don't have the kind of problems that other people have. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.